King's Indian Defense, Petrosian Variation, Stein Defense, 8.h3. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. The middle game battle was fairly even. Opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, gains more control over the e5 square, and strengthens the d4 pawn. g6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. c4 gains space on the queen side and the center, and prepares to develop the knight to c3. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center and controls the d5 and e4 squares. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. e4 takes full control of the center and allows the light squared bishop to develop. This prepares the bishop for development. b2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king side. e5 takes space in the center and immediately attacks the d4 pawn. d5 takes space in the center and controls the important e6 and c6 squares. a5 takes control of the b4 square so black's knight can sit on the c5 square without fearing the b4 pawn push by white. Master Games It is the last book move. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This reveals an attack on a knight. It is excellent. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. Right on target. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Very precise. It is best. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is a mistake. This is the strongest option. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing queen. It is best. This blocks the attack on a queen that could have been captured. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is excellent. This allows the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to fork pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. This wins a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to recapture a piece. It is a mistake. Equality is within reach, but this move doesn't get there. There was only one good move there. It is a miss. This misses a chance to obtain a winning position. It is a miss. This misses the chance to get a more equal position. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. This is the only move that works. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a bishop. It is a mistake. This wins a tempo by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This defends the attacked knight. It is best. 
This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This threatens to win material. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is good. Recaptures. This threatens to win a rook. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is good. This steps away from the checking rook. It is good. White still has the better position, but they lost their winning advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. White still has an advantage, but they no longer have a winning position. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. Very precise. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. A very strong play. It is excellent. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That's fine. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. The opposing rook is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is good. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. The middle game battle was fairly even.